Good morning, Hampton Academy Sharks. Today is Friday, April 19th, 2019. I'm Nate Doyle. And I'm Jack Demirboss. Today is a B-Day or a Blue Day. This week, we are featuring pictures from the Quebec trip, the 8th grade science Momentum Lab, and Take Your Daughter or Son to Work. April 22nd through 26th is our spring break. Classes will resume Monday, April 29th. Wednesday, May 8th will be an early release day. We have an 11.30 a.m. dismissal. Student Council Blood Drive will be held on Thursday, May 2nd from 2.30 to 7 in the dining hall. Volunteer names will be posted outside Mrs. Brand's office on Friday, April 19th. April 30th and May 1st, students will be taking the language arts assessment. On Friday, May 3rd, 7th grade students will attend the career fair at Hampton Academy, where they will be able to learn more about a variety of careers and question professionals in the fields. Last week, we pizza bites, sauté spinach, last pieces. On Thursday, May 9th, students will participate in the state writing assessment. Yesterday was grade 7, take your daughter and son to work. Our students joined millions of Americans who will be celebrating this special day on or around April 25th. Students were inspired by participating in the daily work schedule of adults in their lives. They will get on the job experience as they learn about different jobs and careers. Take, Take a, a look, look at, at some, some of these pictures from their visits. Lab with Mr. Shaw and one of his eighth grade students. So, Ryan, what are we doing right now? We are taking um, plastic cars and pushing it down a ramp, and the, the car is hitting the block, and the block's going, but we're also, like, we're measuring the mass of the car, and we're collecting data based off, like, the mass of the car and the height and things. And Mr. Shaw, what does this lab teach us? Uh, we are looking at what variables really affect momentum. And at the end of this lab, students will have to prove what variables those are through their data that they've collected. Um, and we're also looking at the forces that really can impact uh, this little Lego person that we have on top of the cars uh, when the car collides with another object. Great. Thank you both for being on Shark News. And thank you, Emily. Last weekend, 40 eighth grade students and staff traveled to Quebec. Quebec City. They had a great time exploring the city. Check out these photos.
Nous sommes allongés sur l'herbe de l'été. Il est tard, on entend chanter des amoureux et des oiseaux. On entend chuchoter le vent dans la campagne. On entend chanter la montagne. J'ai ta main dans ma main, je joue avec tes doigts. J'ai mes yeux dans tes yeux et pas tout l'on ne voit que la nuit belle nuit, que le ciel merveilleux qui fleurit tour à tour, tendre et mystérieux. Viens plus près, mon amour, ton cœur contre mon cœur, et dis-moi qu'il n'est pas de plus charmant bonheur. Que ces yeux dans le ciel, que ce ciel dans tes yeux, que ta main qui joue avec ma main. Je ne sais rien de toi, tout ne sais rien de moi. Nous ne sommes que deux vagabondes, toi fille des bois, moi moi des garçons. De robe de chéri, je n'ai plus de maison, je n'ai plus que la belle saison. Et ta main dans ma main que joue avec mes doigts, j'ai mes yeux dans tes yeux et pas tout l'on ne voit que la nuit belle nuit, que le ciel merveilleux qui fleurit tour à tour, tendre. Mystérieux, rien plus près, mon amour, ton cœur contre mon cœur, et dis-moi qu'il n'est pas de plus charmant bonheur que ses yeux dans le ciel. For your weather, so I have two weather photos to share with you today. First, we have awesome low tide from Damien Tribuco. Thank you, Damien, for sending that in. We also have finally starting to look like spring with sunny, sunny skies from Cadence Aleniac. Thank you, Cadence, for sending that in. These are both beautiful pictures. Remember to send in your weather photos to Shrek News at SA90.org or stop by the computer lab to airdrop them to Mrs. McNichol. And now for our day planner, at 8 o'clock a.m. today, it'll be 57 degrees and pretty overcast. Around noon, it'll be around 64 degrees and a pretty decent spring day temperature. At 4 o'clock p.m., it'll be 68 degrees and still cloudy with a small chance of rain that will be a bit warmer. On Saturday, on our five-day forecast, we have a high of 63, a low of 52, and showers early in the day, but then it will become a steady rain later in the day. On Sunday, it will be high 59, a low 47, with some morning showers, but just clouds in the afternoon. On Monday, we'll have a high of 61, a low 49, with some showers in the morning and back to partly cloud in the afternoon. And Tuesday, we have a high of 58, a low 44, so it will be a bit cooler, but it will be cloudy with showers. That's your weather. I'm Emily Curry. Hi, it's me, Avanish, and this week we have a fact from our friend here, Ken Spoman. So did you know, since it's been raining a lot, I guess I'd do a fact on earthworms, or at least Cadence would. Thank you, Cadence. Did you know earthworms are unable to drown? That's great for them. They can live days submerged underwater, unlike us, which we will die. That wouldn't be nice. Soil experts also think that earthworms surface during rainstorms for migration purposes, kind of like a butterfly, but like on the ground. Same logic. That's your fact, I'm Avanish, and thank you, Cadence, for helping us with this. Here's some more facts for you guys. Since we have Easter coming up this weekend, one of my favorite holidays, because they have chocolate for free, basically. In Italy, these guys made a 34-foot Easter egg. It weighed over three cards. It was gigantic. I wish I ate that, but I didn't get to. But in Zurich, Switzerland, apparently, 
because it, you want it to be spring, you have to burn down a giant bog thingy majigger, like a snowman. And if you don't burn it down, then you won't get spring. So the faster it burns down, the faster spring comes. So make sure that thing kind of burns down quick because I really want warm summer weather. I hate wearing a jacket. That's some more facts. Thank you, everyone. Have a great vacation. I'm Avanish. Have a great week. Celebrating her birthday today is Caitlin Zabriskie. Celebrating tomorrow are Samantha Kupka and Grade Robinson. Celebrating over break are Shay O'Keefe, Zoe Mueller, Allison Cross, Shay Rademacher, Madison Matthews, Lucas Quigley, Corbin Green, Christian Valdez, and Nina Beckwith. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Caitlin, Samantha, Grace, Shea, Zoe, Allison, Sarah, Madison, Lucas, Corbin, Christian, and Nina. With spring vacation starting tomorrow, our thought for the day comes from Sage Wilcox, an author and certified energy healer and teacher. Sage wrote, a proper vacation does three things. It takes you away from the stresses and demands of your daily life. It gives your body time to heal and re rejuvenate and invigorate your mind by returning you to your natural rhythm. And now for your joke. Make sure to send them in at sharknews at seunited.org. Hey, Piper. Hey, what? Why shouldn't you tell an Easter egg a joke? I don't know. Why? Because it might crack up. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, before you speak, text, or email, ask yourself, is it kind? Is it true? And is it necessary? And remember the Academy way. Manage yourself. Act responsibly. And respect yourself and others. Go, Go out there and make, make it a great, great day. day.